My mother was a writer, and she used to joke about how writers are supposed to live in ivory towers. But she lived in an ivory intersection. She kept her typewriter in the kitchen, and that's where she did her writing as the kids were running around. And as meditators, we have to live in ivory intersections too. In other words, there's going to be a lot of activity around us many times, but we have to have a sense of quiet center inside, quiet focus inside, to stick with what's really important. There are a lot of things in the world that are pressing but not really important. What's really important is the state of your mind. And yet so many other things come and press in on you, say, you've got to do this, you've got to pay attention to that, you've got to worry about this. And if you pay attention to all the pressing things, the important things just get left because there will always be things pressing on you. Even when you're alone, usually what happens when you're alone is when you're old and sick, and okay, then the issues of the body will be pressing on you. And that's the point where you really wish that you'd trained your mind. So here's your opportunity right now to work on the mind and to try to, try to create a sense of focus here inside that doesn't get disturbed by all the activity around. That way you can live in the world and not be spinning around after the world. Because you've got this center inside, you've got this focus inside. Try to work with the breath so it becomes interesting. The more you can find of interest in the breath, the easier it's to stay here. If it's just in, out, in, out, like that man last night who complained, he, all he focused was on his nose and got tired of it after a while. Well, of course. If your center can only be in that one spot and you don't have any alternatives, you don't have to, anything to do with the breath, then it's going to get boring pretty quickly. But if there's plenty of work to do with the breath, make sure the breath energy in your back is good, make sure the breath energy in your legs and your feet and your arms, your hands, your torso, your head. There's lots to look after right here. Try to keep this focus going right here. And as for things outside, you, you attend to things as is necessary, but you don't want to lose your center. Make this the place from which you deal with everything else in the world. And you find that the pressing events of the world are not quite so pressing after all. And at the same time, the important work of the mind gets done.